<laughs> oh. Am I? I don't even have. To Hello. Filter. We're live. Yay, we got there. <laughs> oh, got to turn that off, though. Oof. I'm hearing myself speak in the background. Oh, no. Mute the tab. <laughs> Oof, there we go. And I hear somebody has a cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hello, everybody. I'm Tim. I'm going to be your game master for this evening. We're going to be running a ga game of Shadow of the Demon Lord. We're going to be running the campaign Tales, from, Tales of the Demon Lord. And we're starting in the first chapter, first session, the day of the campaign. And that will be... Harvester of Sorrow is this chapter. And now well, let's introduce the players and characters here that are here tonight. And we will start with Miss Tommy, ladies first. Why? Well, I want to go last. Okay. Hi, my name is Tommy. <laughs> oh, it's too late. We're here. Okay. Hi, my name is Tommy. Um, you may have seen me in like the past two. We have two streams so far of this. Two little streams of this so far. Yeah. So this time around, new character. Uh, you'll find out about her, I guess, as we go on. I don't have much to say. So, all right, um, Mark, you there? All right, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself since you've been here before? Yep, D different dimension in the void. <laughs> Aspiring mage. Okay, and last but not least, our new new player, Jordan. Good evening, sir. Hi there. I'm Jordan. I'll be playing Monk. It's nice to meet you all. I haven't really played with you guys before, but I hope it goes well. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Well, we're going to start right away then. Jump right in since we had a couple weeks delay on our start, or at least a week, to, yeah, two weeks between. We are going to join the players as they. I will let you decide if you've been in there for a while or if you're just showing up. And uh, come on, open the sheet and drawing blanks on names as soon as I have, to, you know, have to need them. Fair. Into the fallen soldier. A. Run down half room situated between the burned down tenant and a brothel. It is located in some of the lower districts of the city, the slum areas. Um, it is, here, let me, the taproom reeks of vomit, piss, and boasts of a single bar and a few stools and a couple of tables. Earth that's never lit, but from all the garbage in there, you probably wouldn't want it lit. It's, the people here are commoners, are the fishermen, some of the prostitutes from next door. It's you no know, just a friendly neighborhood bar. In the grievings slum area. Recently there have been a a bunch of disappearances of several people in the neighborhood. The brown coats, which are the local police force or city guard, have basically ignored it after making minimal effort to locate who may where these people are. All except one, a Sergeant Alyssa, but she's from this area. 
In fact, this is one of her hangouts since she was a child. And this is where she's sitting the night looking for people to help her. And you guys have wandered in for one reason or another. Talk to her about maybe locating some of these people. She works for the city guard, but like I said, they have not been very helpful at doing anything. And she's doing this on her own time. So it's about nine at night, and she's only recently showed up after her shift. So I'll let you guys decide how you enter or who you talk to. I don't need to. So. Tomorrow's has definitely doors. been. Tomorrow's has definitely been waiting. As if expecting her to show up eventually. Uh, absolutely hating just sitting there though. Just has a whole flower just in her face trying to block out the smell of vomit. <laughs> Yeah, and the unwashed fishermen that are wandering by and everything. Yeah, this is by no means an area where you're used to. Not at business. all. She doesn't look like she even belongs there. I was going to ask if you dressed appropriate. So what no. brings you particularly down here then to be looking? A friend went missing, and she okay. wants to know why. Okay. Because the brown coats, the brown cloaks, don't seem to be doing their job right. Exactly, and you'll notice in the corner, in the back of the bar, you'll see her back here, Sergeant Elise, as she walks in. A lot of the P locals. People in the bar say hello, asking her how she's doing, they offer to buy her a drink. The bar, uh, the owner, Virgil or Virgis, I can never remember. Queer and Verge, most people call him Q, but that's only if you're close friends. But he's the bar owner here, and he's also somebody that's known reputation if you're from this area or you've been around long enough in the city. But especially in the grieving slum area. But now, um, as we sit there, uh, you can move your token anywhere you want just for sake of it. Uh when do you show up, Mug? Or how? Or you've just been here. Well, I will say, Mug will have been. It's gonna let me move him. There we go. Over here, throwing some dice and attempting to swindle the locals out of their hard-earned. Hmm. Well, and he'll be <laughs> sitting there, his tall orc in these kind of almost fine clothes with a cloak going behind. So you look also kind of out of place amongst these people. A bit, yeah. A bit. I mean, finer clothing than burlap sack and I'm thinking very rough homespun clothing. For the local okay. fishermen here. This is a moderate climate. It has its, you know, it has seasonal changes, so. And you also would like soldier mark. notice soldier. the sergeant sitting back in the corner and people. Eventually she settles down and looks like a few people come over and talk to her. Um, if anybody wants to roll a perception who's in there, it, pretty obvious, though. She's just, they're handing her money and thanking her for stuff. So, and then, uh, Zachariah, what are you doing? When do you show up? What are you doing?
Entrance is over here. I should be should see her okay, yeah. Um, he just looks more orc than an orc, you know, he looks very orcish, discolored, probably. You might question if he's, his, his, you know, hygiene. Let's go that way. I mean, it, most of the people here, as you guys walk in, I mean, you guys, how are you dressed in appearance there, Zachariah? Much better in than what would be common in this bar, I'm assuming, much like the other two. You three stand out like a sore thumb. Let's just be obvious here. You look like Rob. Ouch. They're all, everybody's kind of keeping an eye on you and watching what you're doing. And you know they're watching you because you're watching them too. But nobody's making any moves to, I mean, harm you or interfere, but they're keeping a wary eye on you. So you guys would have to make the a, somewhat of a, approach and it's been knowing she's been looking for help too because she can't do it herself as far sergeant elise i'm referring to Alessa, excuse me Alyssa. once Alyssa. your table gets clear oh. slip up from mine and go over there okay she Wait looks like you approach office. you don't one of her hands is below the table As you approach. I came to help. Don't have to reach for anything. Just cautious. Strangers in the town. Or strangers in... Have a seat. Uh, what are you here to help with? Um, There's an issue with people disappearing. And the brown cloaks were supposed to do something about that. But they not. Or yeah. at least more people have been disappearing lately and they haven't been getting any information you are correct i hate to say it but i'm worried me and father gregory were working on trying to figure out who this is and i haven't seen him in a couple days now father so gregory's really also worried. yes he was following up some leads with a couple of his other people from his uh, congregation. They've been a little neighborhood watch lately mm -hmm. trying to see if they could find and in a couple days. Uh, Fantastic. Who was your friend you're looking at? Did you say you were looking? No, you didn't, not to her. So. Well, I am looking for someone. His name is Tyrus. Oh, yeah. It's only been a couple of days. We haven't seen him around. He was... He, he was a good guy. Was. Uh, just well, automatically is, assuming he is dead now. Well, he's not the type I would think that would just disappear like that without saying something to somebody. Of course. And if he could get back. I'm hoping he's not, but oh. you're right. Sorry, he I guess is... I, I'm not expecting much. I'm just hoping to find. 
he is often caught up in revels, so he might be just run off on his own, but I doubt it given the current situation. I would think he would mention to somebody, at least several of the people here he's friends with, or at least he comes here regularly. And she'll mention, oh. uh, and you, are the other, you other two doing anything at this point as you see, uh, I'm going to screw up your name. Damaris. 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 Ah, yes. Ar, Aris, Damaris. Dama. Yep. Ap approach and sit at the table. I don't think you're close enough to overhear the conversations. So you might be Zachariah, since you said you were sitting somewhere over here. But that depends on how loud they're talking and how close you're hearing or listening. Wow. Tomorrow's is not being quiet. Well, it is a busy kind of loud bar, so it's kind of hard not to be talking a little loud. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will say, by the time that they're finished with their conversation, you'll hear a loud, boisterous laugh from the corner over here as Mug stands, and he's like, you bastards don't know how to handle your own drink. You're gambling like a bunch of fools. I take it you just, won? I'll let you roleplay however you want. It was more half and half. He lost quite a bit. Okay. <laughs> uh, and he'll just start lumbering over towards the... Um, I forget her position. Sergeant Ale Elise Elf Sergeant Alessa. Sergeant. I'm going to screw up names regularly, guys, so just get used to it. Mm -hmm. Elise. No, can... Elise. Sergeant Elise. Yes. And his mug will make his way over. He's like, so, I hear you're looking for hire. Then he looks down at Damaris. You are and massive. So I've As you told. approach the cat, I mean, she, not only does her hand reach for her sword she definitely slides the chair back just a little as a large nine foot orc is approaching even though you're not what? armed she doesn't draw but you know her hand is not resting on it but it's hovering near he still goes in like the hands up surrender position he's like whoa whoa no need to get That's... hostile here no we're not hostile just cautious you're a big man and I'm just a wee little woman. <laughs> well, despite my stature, I tend to be towards the more helpful disposition. Well, somebody of your size would definitely be... Uh, Useful to hide behind. That's one way to look at it. I was uh, definitely a threatening gesture to somebody who might be wishing harm. Have a seat. I don't know how stable it is. He's going to try and sit down. Hopefully it doesn't break. It freaks. And you probably put a little more weight on your legs and just kind of look than you. Than on the chair or as much, just in case. Yeah. What are you doing, Mark? I mean, Sue Zachariah. Well, you notice eventually a waiter, a, a barmaid, winds through, eventually looks at you. What do you want, sir? What do you want, sir? It would be a barmaid, well, a female in this case. If... I'm busy. Hurry up. What do you want? Beef. 
This ain't no restaurant. We serve maybe some bread and beer. Maybe cheese if damn boss goes and buys something, but what do you want? We got cheap and we got not so cheap. We have no fucking cow. <laughs> If we got here, we'll get you some bread, and I think we got some rat stew, or maybe fish broth. Excuse me, fish, this is a fisher town, a fishman. We got some fish stew, maybe brewing back there. I think it's a couple days old, but they keep adding stuff. Well, if you do soon, they have butter, Zach. <laughs> uh copper, copper pieces, or whatever the unit. My here is in this game. I lose track after a while. I think it's bits. bits. Okay. bits. Could be wrong. You get a hard block of bread that usually would be soaked in something to soften, be it beer or stew or something. So, it's almost like heart attack. Yeah, I mm -hmm. mean, well, you think about how bread was back then. It really wasn't the white, fluffy stuff we think of, unless you're yeah. really in a fancy, rich area. It was basically Some heart attack back then. Yeah. So, you get served that. Did you want anything to drink? She just rolls her eyes. She brings back a mug in a like a wooden wooden mug, and it's got foam on top. You're not sure what's in it. It's a stout, by the way. As black as night. I didn't know she was bringing paint. I don't know how beer is made, so I could be completely wrong. It's just one of my favorites. <laughs> All right, so the rest of you are sitting there at the two at the table with uh, Sergeant, the Sergeant, and uh, she goes, "All right, well, here's the information I got," and she reveals to you that there so far have been six disappearances of locals from this bar in general are this neighborhood most of them are patrons of this bar or such even the uh they have as main an age an aging down on her luck prostitute with a reputation for being a drunk old pete a paraplegic who lived in the alley behind the, the fallen soldier he's gone missing Sprout, a young orphan who survive, who normally survives by picking pockets of the people in the neighborhood. Though he's only a few cop brass, and most people don't really man, man, mind. Eden, a fortune teller. Tyrus, the ex-soldier mentioned before, who's a devotee of Revel. And Vern, a blind beggar who basically... A blind beggar with a filthy mouth who begged outside bar quite often and now father gregor and two of the of the congregation have gone missing and i did not give them names at this point you got any questions otherwise i mean if you guys want to patrol the area and here i mean they've been happening at night so they're all Patrons of this bar. Well, That's what they have they've all them. from the neighborhood and their regulars around here. You've probably been in a few of the other bars too, depending on how much big their tab is at the time. Let's be honest. Are where the customers are, but 
Eden, she would come in here and as well as some of the other ones and tell fortunes to us for a few, you know, bits or a few drinks. Nice lady. That Here's by itself you. is fairly suspicious. That yes, all they, well, and as they as she reveals that uh, they were regulars here, but they weren't just regulars here. They were from the neighborhood, so local bar. They had housing nearby, so. But she says, "Yeah, well, sorry, Father Gregor rarely had here. Most of the people, I mean, he hell was helping me because these people were missing from here. I mean, he's." He went missing a few days ago. Yeah, he went missing uh, last uh, two days ago. I haven't seen him since, and nobody at the church has either. I haven't had a ch chance to go over there to investigate if he had any clues over there yet, or if he had any left any messages. So you might want to start there. That's what I was thinking of. If he was already working on this, and now he's gone, there might be something there. Wherever yeah, he's I mean, at. I'm going to be going on. I'm waiting for a couple of other friends to show up. We're going to patrol the area too, looking. I mean, uh, let's review something here. Okay, talking with Virgil or anyone at the tavern, depending on how much social interaction you'll do. But the sergeant will tell you, well, a couple of the people, you know, Around here recently, there's been some str a strange man wearing a hooded cloak. That's what they've been seeing at night. We tried following him, but we lost him. He's Where at? He runs whenever anybody approaches it. In the grievings area here, sulking through the alleyways. Oh. That's who we're trying to find. We suspect it, but, you know, that could be anybody in a ugly cloak. Could be just some damn clockwork with a malfunction too we don't know mm. only when things go bad it's normally within the area or within the if there's the forest it's around there from what i've learned yeah and the kid tyrus went missing but damn you i mean before tyrus went missing he said that the boy trout you know he said he saw him when he, but he wasn't sure because he was pretty drunk at the time. He saw a cloaked figure grab Trout right out from the crowd. Or into so the, the, yeah, and out of the crowd, right out of the thoroughfare and into the alley. So that's who we're looking for. Only other thing I can think of is not too long ago. And you can maybe ask some of the locals elsewhere, but there were two men dressed way too fine, much like you you find folks, but much, much nicer. That came down here to talk to some of the locals. About? Well, I'm reading quickly. They covered their faces and everything, much like you were, Miss, with the flowers. I'm sorry for this, you know. But they it's were asking. They were asking questions about some of the old neighborhoods down here. Some of the places. Just about the neighborhood. Well, a couple of the old houses, you know, they got the. I have to scroll up and look at the city section just a second real quick. And losing track of names. We are in grievings, yes. They were asking about the Mercy Hill Asylum. And uh, like the Moore House and a few of the other run down old places that were once... Well, this was once a wealthier neighborhood. There's the old Johnson place they were asking about. And 
are any of you guys from crossings in the local area? So crossing? Yeah. Mark? I mean, excuse me, Zach? Or Zachariah? You're from the crossings area? Are undecided at this time. I'm fine with you that answer too. <laughs> okay. Well, you weren't on the conversation, as far as I know. You're sitting at the table on the other side. Just if you're overhearing some of this, depending on how acute you are. Uh, but. The Moore House uh, is something of a legend in the area, if you're familiar with grievings. I'm not familiar with grievings. Mm. Try to avoid grievings. Okay, then no, you wouldn't necessarily. But yeah, they were definitely, she would go on. They were definitely asking a little too particular about that from what a couple of the people say. So, What's special about it? Well, it's been abandoned for decades, and everybody's been, you know, the kids used to go there. It's considered haunted. People rarely go there. And then there's the old Johnson place. Well, that one burnt down, so there's not much there. And then there's the asylum. Well... I don't need to tell you what may or may not have gone on there. And shh. Of course. There's rumors about things. But definitely interesting things happening. Hmm. So people who do not belong here asking about properties that have been abandoned. Um, a person with the wearing a cloak snatching kids out of alleyways, and I mean, we don't know if they're. Really, I mean, it's, I think they're two separate things, but yes, definitely keeping def track of the many different notice. strange things. Right now, I'm worried about Father Gregor and the. Yes, I'm sorry, but in. Don't have high hopes for the rest of them, even if Father Gregor at this point. Gregory, excuse me. It's been two days, so it depends on what they're doing with them. There's any yeah. number of things that could be done. At any point, are you approaching Zachariah? Because at this point, she's going to start talking money to these guys. If you want to be part of that. You guys see somebody else approach the table who's been behind you for a while. Some of you may or may not have noticed. All right. Do you say anything as you approach? Hi, hello, or do you just pull the chair out and sit? You broke up a little there. Can you repeat that last little part? You... Or did we lose you? Oh, there we go. There, we go. Can. there we go. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, investigation, maybe. Um, you 
No, 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 no. Yeah, well, that's what she's saying. We're looking at she's looking at you because you just kind of abruptly approached, sat down, introduced yourself. Mars looks amused. Well, I'm taking it from where you were sitting before. She looks over there. You were listening. Um, if you're willing to assist, I'm willing to pay. But um, he looks. Hopefully, you guys can work together. Or and what magic do you do? Oh, so electricity. Wonderful. Well, th that's interesting, but hopefully it's you can help investigate what's going on more than anything. And, I mean, it's uh, good for if you need to stop someone, but uh, hopefully, well, let's see. provided we get that far. <laughs> yes, exactly. Provided you get that. Um as far as I'm concerned, I will pay you. And I'm trying to look at the denominations in this game again because I play way too many of them. It's the copper pieces, silver pieces, and gold pieces. Okay. Or silver shillings. Yeah. She'll offer you each a silver, which is a fairly decent amount at this point. Or two. Uh, I'll offer you each a silver if you can figure out who's what's going on and. Well, if you find anything, you can keep it. No questions asked. Okay. Silver just to find more information or silver to recover? Well, silver to find information. A couple more, maybe, if you find them. That sounds like a good deal to me. What about you two? Hmm. Yeah, he'll do. I mean, basically right now I'm looking for people to look around and just see if they can find them. I mean, none of the locals here, like most people, you know, they were worried about themselves and what happened to others. As most tend to do. I mean... Strange how things happen, people rather focus on their own lives. I grew up here and was raised in the local orphanage. Many of the people here helped me out. And on a little note there, um, is there anybody else involved with the guild? Okay. Quietly. Yep. Well, a bit of lore knowledge there for you. The others, players can know, characters wouldn't necessarily. Orphanages are ran by the guild, looking for exceptional characteristics, people that they can put into positions, et cetera. Fair. You know, and raise them for certain tasks that they may have, et cetera. And you would know that. Or at least have heard rumors of that. Noted. So that gives you a suspicion that the sergeant may herself be involved. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not going to bring that up immediately. Mm -hmm. We are professionals. It might also explain why she's down in this area. But, well, I am waiting for a few of my friends to show up. We're going to go look over. And, uh, and she mentions a bunch of streets, our neighborhood within Grievings, not too far from here. We're going to investigate there. I'm going to. Tr I have some other business I have to take care of for. And she looks over for people. She looks over at. Uh, his name is ridiculous for me. <laughs> Quirin. The owner. The owner. I have some business to take care of the night before I can really get into looking. When do you sleep? Because I know you just got off work. Sleep is something other people do. Mm, fair. 
Well, I don't right. know where any of the retreats are, but I would like to go. Do you know where uh, Father Gregory lives? Or does he live in the uh, church? Uh, he will give you a location. And it's not drastically far away from here. Uh, the Shrine of the Ascended. And if you look, there is a little blurb in Roll20. A small shrine featuring a modest worship area. Marshall makes a squint face at yeah. that. <laughs> and she mentions it's to the... Uh, let me see. Astrid, the new god. Of her, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Temple of the new god. This is a small shrine to her, Astrid. She is the main worshiper of most humans. But he has a small shrine in grievings where he's been teaching and preaching. Mm. Once again, I'm going to remind people it's about 8, 9 at night now. You're free to go there, but it's just start letting you know it's nighttime. Well, if you guys... Oh, we got somebody coming in. Hello. Hello. Hello, who we got? Oh, and you showed up. All right, sir. I thought you weren't going to make it. Just a second. Let me get you set Do up. Do we have a way to add him? Yes, I can add him. Don't worry. Just going to take a second or two. Not too far along. Intermission. <laughs> If anybody needs to do anything, it's take me a few seconds to set him up on cameras. So, Owen, hello. How are you tonight? Okay. I'm going to turn your volume up. All right. Gosh, All we're right, currently well. on stream. So, just so you know, we're live on stream. Yeah. So, I, I don't think they can hear you, but we can hear you. So... I got my desktop stream off, so the, we can only hear you on this one. Let me get you set up here. Just a second. Oh. But uh, you guys were talking. I mean, feel free to amongst yourself right now, role play what you might be doing. Or you can take me a few minutes, or we can. You need a bathroom break real quick or something. I'm gonna turn his. So. Um... Should we go to the uh, Father Gregory's place now, or should we wait until there's light? I'm pretty confident <laughs> to around large tower of a person. Yes. I did say that there was stuff going on at night. So maybe while we're checking on Father Gregory's place, something could happen on the way there. But we could also just stay the night and check in the morning. We could also just watch from a distance, see if anything shows up. Yes. These eyes might not half bad in the dark, so. How do you hide, really? I don't. It's kind of a problem. Hmm. Yeah, the nine foot tall walking small giant. <laughs> yeah, my steps are kind of, as you heard, lumbering, so it's kind of hard to. Do I have to cover you up or just like make sure, hope there's an alley somewhere? Just throw a top over me and maybe put a lantern on my head, make me look like a lamppost. <laughs> there Can you I get you to say something just to make sure I grab the mic right? Okay, you're on. Okay, I did get you to move on the mic, so cool. I don't have an image for you, and you're not live on camera, but we will throw something up for a dwarf. Do you have any particular yeah. image? I'll grab from the generic or someplace. Just grab from the generic for now. I'll get something sent to you. Soon. All right. Oh, so this is the dwarf friend that yeah. we spoke about. Oh, nice. <laughs> Baron the dwarf. dwarf. Very tall. 
really small little dwarf. All right. Well, just so you know, on if you've got jumped on the roll twenty and his, they are just getting ready to. And I will throw your icon on the screen. So, give me icon token. Hopefully, you can then see. Yep. I like I said. I, I grabbed one of the generics. And as a dwarf, you're slightly smaller for some reason. Yeah, half size. I mean, hey, it works. I I have to scale uh, the grid off because it never works for me when I line it up. I mean, dwarves are pretty small, anyways. Well, they're shorter. I wouldn't say they're necessarily less massive. So. Well, true. Unless you're comparing them to. <laughs> so, uh, basic rundown of the story so you can catch up on a um, there's uh, Sergeant Alyssa has been looking for people to investigate missing people in the town of, in the area of Grievings, the district of Grievings um, some of you may or may not have a connection with some of the missing or you're looking for money which is being offered right now it's uh, one silver to look into it and if you can find the people or find answers you'll get more plus you're allowed to collect anything you might find along the way and uh the sergeant is not really too particular about how you acquire it and um I'm trying to think if there's anything else other than the names of the people that were given and the fact that the rumors, but he can catch up as needed. Yep. As far as uh, a strange figure, cloaked figure, sulking through alleys of grievings, uh, runs when people try to approach it. Tyrus saw Trout being snatched by an odd man wearing a hooded cloak and two fancy dressed men uh, well beyond the neighborhood we're asking questions about things in the neighborhood, particularly certain sites. I think that's about all anything I might have missed other than buying drinks and so forth. And the fact that drinks. the bar smells like piss, vomit, and uh, pretty much uh, the, the people smell of body odor and uh, fish. There's three people at a table who do look like they don't belong there talking to... Uh... A brown coat who is obviously a, a brown coat when the brown coat here is the city watch slash police of crossings. I think I caught you up. Anything I'm missing or we need, we can probably do through role play. Yep. And they were just being told uh, discussing what they were going to do to do the investigation as Sergeant Alyssa gets ready to Seems to be getting ready to leave as far as she's standing up and getting her stuff. Is there anything else you guys have for me? Or, excuse me, she has a much cuter voice than me. Oh. <laughs> or if you have any questions, yeah, just leave a qu something here at the bar. Rather not have you go through the brown coats or the main, for some reason they want this hushed. Don't know why. Well, I can think of a couple of reasons they why. that they're not doing their job. Well, it seems like uh, any they were upper people just kind of said, it, leave it alone. And I can't. Some of these people are my friends. Noted. Uh, it smells very fishy. Mm. Very much like. Are garage. you sure you're just not smelling him? And he points over to one of the fishermen right next to you. I'm sorry. I, it's, you know, local humor. No worries. No, I agree. Something's. Corruption. I know. Imagine that corruption in the police force. I mean, in the brown coats and police. Force. So surprising. And okay. uh, yep. Yeah. And now I got some business, and she walks over to the bar, and there's, uh, Warren brings out a package. And she grabs and says, um, I'll be seeing you guys later. I will, like I said, leave a message with him if you need something. 
And uh, I don't know how you want to introduce your character, Owen. Uh, Owen Bremer. I'm going to call it that instead. Try to use your character name. Yeah. But introduce yourself, and can we get a description at least? Did we lose you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. So a stout man with ginger hair and I think it's complete rags. Oh, you're dressed in kind it's of rags, low. Okay. And he has a warhammer on his back. Is this a two-handed, like, Warhammer or just a big, I'm thinking more mall or just fitting description for you? Uh, I haven't looked at your character shape too much. Yeah. Let's ring it up real quick. Oh, yeah, with that damage, you're definitely two-handed. Yeah. And okay, this is it is. Weapon. Okay, cumbersome. Right, excellent. Yeah. Excellent, looks good. Uh, what do they see? What do they? I mean, you say uh, from what I'm seeing here, your appearance and so forth. You want to describe it to them? Yeah. So typical dwarf, hairy and portly, but well groomed. Are you wearing? And you said yeah, uh, your clothing and such. Yeah, it's um patched. He's wearing patched clothing, basically okay. rags. A little better than that. Well worn, patched, a few times over. Yep. Exactly. Very much like the locals here, probably with this homespun. Okay. Yeah. At one point, would you have approached a table with these guys? Yep. I mean, or would you have made your way? I'm just to catch you up. All right, if you guys want to just catch him up on anything, I'm just going to have yep. her gone. But maybe he shows, I mean, or just shows up at the tail end of it. Well, these guys will fill you in, but I got to go. <laughs> that is a large yep. hammer for a small person. No. No. I'm sorry, what did you... Okay, no, not by any means. That is a large hammer for a small person? Not the biggest thing I've, well, wielded. did. Is that an innuendo? <laughs> <laughs> or it's um. even a bigger sword. <laughs> oh, big. Took a moment, didn't it? Yeah. Zombie. That's what she said. No. <laughs> so we're going to go to um a, a church, by the way. <laughs> That's not exactly how you speak when you're going to a church. It depends on the church, maybe. Depends on the church. Yeah. <sighs> but... All right, if you guys are going to head there, it's not too far. It's several blocks walk. Um, I'm assuming you're walking since, you know, we're in the city. There are very few people on the streets, and especially in this neighborhood. It, yeah. I mean, it's the run-down, slummy area, but it's still family areas. I mean, you're going to see people passed out on the ground. You're going to... It still smells like chamber pots everywhere trash filthy it's like downed wind from the stacks district so you're getting this the coal burning smoke just kind of billowing through it's not pleasant eventually you approach the shrine oh well the building that the shrine is in not very large And uh, it, there's a door there at the street, so I'll let you decide. You know, you're waiting there at the door. You're going to open, break it down. 
Excuse knock. Me. No answer knock if you knock. Distance. What is the plan? We should figure that out first. Because originally we were just going to watch, see if something happens because things have been occurring at night. Orc sneak in. You can't sneak in because of that, but I can sneak in <laughs> and see That's if it's really empty. Yes, I do have a bit of a, a sneaking disability, I guess one would say. Difficulty obscuring thyself. Hmm. So what do we want to do? Well, you're at the doorway to a building. It's stuck between a couple other tenant type buildings and apartments, small, smaller places. There's a door, a window, there's a sign. I believe most of you are capable of reading. Saying the shrine of the ascended. There's the uh, snake eating its I, tail symbol of Astrid. I mean, of the new god. My character can't read, so. Okay. Well, you see the symbol, at least. Or it may not be able to read the common language. Most people can at least speak it. Yeah, I can speak common, but I can't read or write. You sound like a good barbarian door. <laughs> I'm looking forward to combat. Oh, yeah, I mean, you guys are standing there. I'm just waiting to see what you're going to do. Stick around, you see people the around the... Knock on the door. What do you want me to do? Not Knock on the door. Nothing answers. You're checking the door? She didn't do anything yet. She's asking the group okay. Oh, okay. before we even approach. Yeah. Was a tactic here. And yeah, I was asking the group, should we just knock? Can do that. True. Never and then if no one answers, break right in. Yeah. Hope well, that thing shoots out. I mean, if need be. I got I this, just... and we'll hold up his war hammer. I love to meet you. Did Sorry. you guys try the door? No, we're discussing. <laughs> but with that decision made, uh, Damaris will go up to the door. Like, it's regular old tempo. Just go, knock, knock. You wait for a while. You hear nothing. You knock again and wait for a while. You still hear nothing. Mark is just going to walk up and attempt to pull the door off its hinges. That's you grab the door handle by chance. That would work better. Hopefully I don't rip it off with my gigantic hand. And you go to try to rip it off and it's unlocked and you nearly fall off your on your butt because there's nothing resisting you. I expected that to be a bit heavier, but all right. Well, it's not locked. It wasn't locked. Nobody mm -hmm. checked if it was even open. <laughs> First thing goes, goes around. So he like grips it and he just like he's trying to rip it away and it's like whoa! <laughs> it just opens. <laughs> yep. Next thing he is holding the handle in his hand though. Yep. Fantastic. Uh, and you see it opens that. into a dark shrine area. It features a modest worship area of pews. Oh, do we have a light source? The outside. Okay. Well, those of you with us uh, shadow, I think there's shadow sight and low light vision would be able to see this and the light coming in from the street might give away most of it. Features a modest worship area with pews and an altar and an icon of Astrid pierced by swords. A door to the worship area 
A door in the worship area leads elsewhere. But what you see there, and then there's a door in, to one side. Or right, to the back, yeah. They don't been... give a map, so I'm making it up in my head. <laughs> I've never been one to go to church. <laughs> there should be candles in here. If you look around, you'll see some candles, yes. If you're looking to take some, you'll find a few. Looking to light some so we have yeah. light. Well, I mean light, place. but yeah, I mean, I was referencing if you want some for later, too. There's a few. That, right too. There. But right now, just looking around. Not yeah, shopping you'll yet. find a few candles near the altar. And if you have anything to light it, pretty sure I do. Light, light. Common things like that, I think you would. And you might even find something nearby, a matchstick or something, because it is the altar. Ideally. Yeah. And she just goes around and starts lighting it up just to, so that we can see things. And other, much, not much more than I described before, other than some, uh, if you read the literature, there's a few, a book there that appears to be some about Astrid and her preachings, if you want to dig that far. But other than a few, the symbol, the, I mean, the statue and stuff, there's not really much there. The candelabras little there the candle stands brass or wood nothing pricey by any means very no, modest immediately no i'm just for value <laughs> some people may and there's a door other than that do you want to not break that one just open it maybe I can attempt to. Just to make note, just because of the size here, when the orc walks in, he has to stoop to get into the doorway. And he's bowing his yeah. head like this so he doesn't keep hitting the ceiling. I'm Maybe hunched, slightly like hunched. Hunch. Yep. Right slightly hunched. Ow. Uh, since I'm not hearing from Zach or, or uh, Bremer, what are you guys doing? Following along, I assume. Did we lose you, Jordan, or just your camera? Oh, we lost him. He'll be back, hopefully. Oh, yeah. So, let's just follow along. Okay. Oh, here he comes back. Doo -doo -doo. Let me see if I lost him on Twitch. Oh, yes. He's flickering. He will be back. I will. There he is. There he is. Sorry about okay, that. cool. No, not a problem. Um, I'm just making sure nobody else is going to make it just do anything before you open the door. So, or whomever is opening the door, not a big deal. Hola, Apacho. Yeah, basically, I'm just going to try and open the door without pulling the handle off. Make sure it's unlocked. My fingertips just... It's unlocked. It leads to a hallway that has two doors on... Leads to a short hallway. There's a door on either side. Stoop down again. He's the only one that can fit in the width of this hallway by himself you know you can't do side by side here so you're behind him if you're following absolutely fine i mean it works leave the, Love the shield to <laughs> deal with any potential traps exactly no um left or right there's two doors so you gotta pick one uh he will flip a coin <laughs> right left to his right right all right. You turn to the right and you open the door. And uh, it can this is what appears to be a small apartment. It contains a cot, a writing desk, and which is a holy book. There's several papers, a quill, an ink, a pot of ink, and a bag of fine sand. Oh, there, there's a bag. If you when you look, it will be fine sand. And then there's a small chest.
and a small war ML wardrobe ish type thing. Is the chest unlocked? Yes. It's a very unprotected place. <laughs> well, it he's a church. He's not, you know, People this don't is rob not... churches. Well, even yeah. there, I mean, just to put a I mean, it would be such a minimal lock anybody could you know, it's a zero level here. We're not trying to make mm -hmm. things impossible. Yeah, even if it was locked, I could just... Yeah, <laughs> it's simple locks. Meant for somebody with even the minimal of a criminal skill could probably pick. I'll just with two fingers open the lid. Uh, it holds Greg It holds clothing, a holy symbol. Oh, excuse me. The chest holds clothing. Just clothing. Um, from what he sees from the two-inch crack you put in it. <laughs> oh no, he was opening. He was just living with his two fingers. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry, I missed. Uh, you open it from with. It looks like a bunch of clothing. Rummage, I guess. Uh, if you pull it out, uh, clothing. <laughs> near the bottom, you find a small box. I'm I'm imagining it as a small box. Could be something mm -hmm. else, but it's there. The... Well, we've got his vestments and a box. And there's a small writing desk. If I didn't mention that, I apologize. You did. I was going to wait until that was done before going look at the writing desk. Okay. Do you want to open the box? Yes. Do you want to not open the box? <laughs> if you uh, just are you opening the box? This yeah. Want basically, he's like rummaging through everything, make sure there's no potential like documents within this. This chest. seems a little weightier than before. Then you know, it seems like uh, it has a little heft to it. It's not a small box. <laughs> I'm thinking it's about maybe six inches deep, um, yeah. eight. 18 inch inches by maybe 18 inches, something like it's that. Kind of like a tithing box. Oh, so like a case. Yeah, it's think of I'm I'm imagining a box, a case, something you slip cover off something. Mm -hmm. It's what you'll notice on it though immediately as a soldier, and I forgot to mention this is the imperial emblem, and of a soldier emblem on it, like a box. Are, it's cheaply like kind of pasted on um I'm trying to think like Maj Podge on yeah. thing. You almost you in you're a slave one, so you may or may not know the soldier of this, but as you open it, you'll see a uniform in there mm -hmm. and a letter. If or a, what appears to be a letter or document. I do have a uniform myself, so I understand at least some of what uniforms are. Yeah. And as you you will find a pistol also in there. No ammunition, just a pistol. Looks like our father Gregor was a military man. Is that a gun? gun and his uniform um is there any like distinctive markings on the uniform to give me any idea of what he was i have no specifics in mind at this time it was nothing okay meant for anything more than that only other thing is the documentation in there i'll open the documentation you can read common correct yes I may have a minus uh, one of my intelligence, but I know how to read at least. Yeah. I'm not sure how it would be worded, but basically this is a notification and sorry for your son's death letter. Here is his uniform and so forth. He died in an honorable such and such. Scratch that. It was his son. Oh. Hmm. No, it's my bad. Are you keeping it? Or are you going to leave it there? 
Um, this is something personal. So I don't, I don't think that I want to, you know, put that out into the world. So I'm just going to put it back. Good. We don't know if he's uh, gone yet, so maybe I want to take his stuff right now. Uh, what's in this desk? Um, it's not too difficult to rummage through the desk. Um, searching the desk turns up a scrap of paper bearing a sketch of a horned skull. Just a second. Let me get to the right thing. Do, 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 do. You. All right. A vial containing a liquid. And I'm going to make this a holy symbol or such. And it contains on it um, our wizard friend Mark. Excuse me, Zachariah might be able to identify it fairly quickly. You there, Mark? I mean, Zach? Look, a magic thing. Wizard. Wizard adept. Magic thing. Look at it. it, it it's a symbol of Astrid, or the new god, one of. But it contains inscription on the back and anybody with very basic knowledge of magic would recognize it as an incantation slash scroll slash something that you cast a one eye time spell from And it's in the did I is that only in the GM section? No, general description. I see it. You just scroll down. And basically, as far as I understand it, and I'm anybody can use these as long as you pass. Yeah. <laughs> so. But it is something so he could identify it fairly quickly as far as a scroll, and it's a zero level. I want to make sure you guys had access to it. Now, as for the potion, it's a pretty blue color. And no label on it? Or no, nothing to identify it? Oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, I'll give it to you. It's a healing potion. Huh. Healing or something is yeah, fairly suddenly just disappeared. Away. <laughs> <laughs> that just gets slipped away. Not even subtly, just, just that's that's ours now. That's payment. Of course. I do have three more if we need them. Mm-hmm. Just in case. He would want us to be safe and healthy when we find him. I'm sure, I'm sure. Um, I'm guessing we've searched the writing desk enough. So uh, book, there was a, something written, right? What was that? There was a notebook or a journal or something? Nope. There was just a scrap of paper with a sketch. Gotcha. Healing potion, incantations. There was his holy symbol. There is, other than the sketch of the skull, there's not much more. Okay. Uh, does anyone know what this is? And just so anybody out there can see. Ah. Let's flip to the other scene. How do I do that again? Other screen. That's not the one. That. They showed up. That one. Let me try to show the sketch of a horn skull. Yeah. 
Right now we see the clay symbol of the new god. And why is it not showing up yet? Delay, delay. Oh, it's delay. under the clay symbol. Delay, delay. You gotta close that. Yeah, I, I closed it all out on my side. I'm not seeing what you guys are seeing. Oh, I was meaning I know. to tell me. I see what I have to do. Um, Too many screens open. See the horn there scroll to the X out of the new god one. There we go. Now yeah. I have to use my other user as the whole thing. Oh, for some reason, no one isn't showing up in this screen. She's showing these a uh, sketch of the horn skull. Yeah, just so people Does can anyone see. Anyone know what this is? Other than pretty. It's very morbid and pretty. Um, would I? No, I probably wouldn't. No. Um, only thing you could figure, and maybe uh, our Zachariah could, is the fact that it is possibly a mutant. Possibly somebody touched by corruption. Demon. Skull of Demon. another creature or monster from someplace else. Without being able to inspect it, you know, truly it's just a sketch. I mean, he's guessing something he imagined. Well, the Gregory's probably have ambitions. I'm keeping it. Yes, she did say she would pay for information, so mm -hmm. that could potentially be information. Was there um, another? Yeah, he said there was a wardrobe. You will just find better uh, some clothing in there. Nothing too drastic. Some if you guys needed some clothing or wanted something, it would be human size, rather uh, tall male for a human. Not taking his personal possession yet, other than what's necessary. But wasn't there another door? Uh, there was a door on the other side of the hall. Yeah, there was a door on the left that we hadn't gone through yet. Quick inspection of that will reveal that it's just like a bunk room with several bunks. Places where people could sleep down in their luck or possibly homeless, etc. Looks like There's like. Fun. Yeah. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm just trying to get Owen onto this screen and I might flip back to the other one anyway. There we go. We'll flip back. I don't have a picture anyway, just a voice. Yeah. What were you saying, Tommy? Just a bunch of bunks. Yeah. It's basically running a homeless shelter. Oh. We don't have much to work off of with that. No, we don't. We could work off the other idea. What was the other idea? Just patrolling? Just yes, a quick check really here, just a second. Zachariah, were you taking any of the stuff or was anybody else taking any of the stuff? I know that the healing potion disappeared. Yeah, we also took the, the, the sketch of the horn skull. Yep, that's just a sketch. So that wasn't an item I was ex too extremely worried about. And then I think, did Zach take the um, spell? Oh, we took the spell or not? Damaris gave Zach the clay symbol. Okay. Incantation yeah. thing. Like, handed it to him, said, This is the thing. Walked off. Yep. Did you take that, Zach? You put it down, Mark. You there? <laughs> Did we lose you? Are you muted somewhere? Which button? Now there we you can. Go. Yeah, now we can. Yeah, he literally handed you it and said, "Magic thing, yours." And everybody, you should be able to access it. I'll move it into your folder for you later. So, excellent. Uh, this was basically to give you guys some items. It was more or less with this. So, mm. anything you thought you might help you? There's Especially no spellcasters? Or possible priests? Well, if he's dead, I'll come back later for other stuff. But right now... Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was the other idea? Mm -hmm. 
Was there another idea? Um, the other idea was to, as you said, patrol and see if we can't find anything in the night because they did say that the kidnappings were happening at night. I look very kidnappable. Did I just act as bait? What was that? I'm sorry, I missed. Offering, offering to the plans of the group. I look very kidnappable to just act as bait. Wouldn't be the first time. Ah, can we probably can we probably check out the other room first? Oh, we already did it. Bunks. It's just like an extra room with a bunch of bunks in it. If you rummage like through, you might be able to find some bedding. Yes, no? As much as I hate to say, you are very kidnappable. Mm -hmm. No, did we get a full description of what your character looks like, Maris? Maris. Okay, I'm just making sure. Yes. <laughs> My point exactly. And definitely not in the right neighborhood. Yep, not at all. Walking around, it's a dirty ass place with flowers in her hair. And all her clothing is nice. I look lost. So, go to where people get snatched and look to get snatched? One of us be yeah. hiding in. That's the plan. Yeah. As long as you're all okay with it, and don't let me get actually taken or if i do follow i'm pretty sure the moment i step out they will either fight or turn tail is everyone good at well are you good at running three things a dwarf might need to be carried Shh. It says the first person tends to dash off at the first sign of trouble, so chasing has to happen. I mean, I'm <clears throat> that bad at running. All right, well, let's go do that. Let's go fishing for kidnappers. I think there is some rules here, just a second. All right, for the first night here, roll a 1d6. Whoever is going to roll. I think I'll the first thing kidnapped should roll. Yeah, sure. Hard. 1d6. Another two. Oh. Okay. It's now about midnight. How long you plan on waiting around, or what are you exactly trying to do here? Um, Standing on a corner, looking pretty, walking behind the aisle, uh, look, walking down alleys. So they've uh, basically been street. taken. So they've been taken like around the bars area. So she's kind of uh, looking like she's looking for somebody, which is you know true. So basically trying to also stay at a certain zone so that everyone else could see her. Well, everyone else, like, in no. the alleys, but where the other players can see her. Now, what are the her. other players doing to, as, from their part? Uh, Damaris is standing there, you know, looking lost and lonely and Nobody's around. At least that's what she hopes nobody, everybody sees. What are the rest of you doing? Basically giving the lost and confused damsel look. Um, yep, exactly. Yeah. Mug will basically because he's way too big to be out in the open. Like, There's no way he could just hide somewhere random. He would have to be in an alleyway in the shadows, on his knees. 
Okay. No. Do you like the sound of that? Tell me. I'm trying to think of the. Pretend to be a boulder in the alley. I just think you place a beer mirror into a barrel. A dwarf in a barrel, yes. Uh, and you tell me what you guys are doing. I mean, I, I can come up with all sorts of weird things. Yeah. There's remember there's ceiling, uh, ceilings, rooftops, alleyways, other places to look from. Not just next to her. I think we put me beside a barrel next to her, just in case stuff starts going yeah. wrong. That works for the dwarf. I don't know if I can be on top of a roof. Because I am a little over 400 pounds. So I'm just going to be in an alleyway looking like a boulder. Okay. Just for the sake of making some fun. Oh, we lost Elvis. He'll be back. He'll be back. No, we lost. uh, We didn't lose Owen. We lost Mark. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where the stealth one is. Go ahead and roll a dexterity. Yep, if your agility. Agility. Okay. Oh, I got it. You for your size. Just for right now, it's just versus ten. You have to be ten. Okay, I just have normal agility. Any boons for me for being smaller? Not much smaller. Oh, shit. I mean, that tracks. Yeah. That oh. very much tracks. Uh, we're all doing nice. wonderful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're doing Fantastic. great. Fantastic. The pride of the one. Welcome back, Zach. Or Zach? Fucking careful. No problem. We're not losing. It happens. At least you got back. Yeah, I got disconnected earlier, so that's fine. All right. Um, after about how many hours do you think you're going to wander around in this area before you mm-hmm. think you might try someplace else? How long people willing to wait? Two hours, three hours? Two or three hours. All night. We're not going to go too far into the night because we all need to sleep. We don't want to take exhaustion. So. Yeah. Excuse me, sorry. Two to three hours? Yep, that works. Yeah. Two to three hours of just sitting here. All right. Well, the first time around didn't work. Go ahead and roll a 1d6 again. <laughs> You should. Somebody's whispering to you in this from the shadows. You know. I think the dwarf is because he's not so obvious or the half. <laughs> nope, not doing good. It's not going to be a good night, I don't think. Mm. But it's getting to be. Okay, I'm just reading. Okay. It's getting to be quite late or early in the morning, whichever way you want to look at how late you're going to wait overall. Well, we started at midnight, right? Well, you got back there probably 11 midnight, somewhere in there. So in two hours would be one, two. Yeah. Yeah. Should be fine enough to wait that long and then head back. Hmm. I'm bored. I mean, are the other plans you might try? Do you want to see if you could find um the captain? That might be a good idea. Maybe she can hold us up somewhere. Give us you have a list of streets that she's on, so wander over there. And there was uh, other information given, keep in mind. I'm not just saying that the you were told of one location, you were told of a few locations that were asked about or possibly. 
Well, houses that were looked at by the, the oh, people that's right. who looked in and belong. Which well, was, we've also looked was at also the said was a separate situation. Well, she yeah. said she didn't know, but yeah, she said she suspected because, you know, what would one have to do with the other, of course? Mm -hmm. So we've only looked at the church. Yes. Like one of those houses? Sounds like a good idea. Whatever, I'm bored, so we can do that. As you guys are wandering, heading, just getting ready to clear up from where you are, you hear whistling. Like a whistle being blown a few blocks away. Anybody garden? locally might notice it as uh, one of the brown coat whistles. Yep, guard whistle. A guard whistle. Go take a look. Go take a look. Starts fucking trundling away. <laughs> the rest follow? <laughs> Owen, Mark? Yeah. Yep, okay. Follow. As you follow along, eventually a couple blocks away, I mean, you have to jog a few things. But as you're coming down, the, you'll see Sergeant Alyssa and a couple other peoples, and you see them running, not from you, but kind of perpendicular like they're chasing something. Can I see with my shadow sight what they're chasing? Found um, him. And she's like, not. It doesn't seem like she hears you because she's chasing. Yeah. Um. And the sun, you know, and you guys are. Which way did he go? You hear him swearing. I. God damn it. Put the light down that alley. Go down there. These are all humans, by the way. So. The lighting. Yeah. They're carrying torches and trying to light the way now. The sergeant has a lantern and she's blaring it down a couple of the alleys and she's just looking around. This is as you're approaching. Mm -hmm. I assume you found him or almost found him. Well, we found something. We've... Yeah, we he ran away, but. Cloak. What we found was, well, yeah, the cloaked figure, but what we found, not pretty. He was, here, follow me. Will do. She leads you back a few blocks from where you were running. You'll see a body. Looks like it's been carved open. Guts are laying out. This is looks like some sort of street vagrant. I mean, without having a name, mm -hmm. probably 16, 17, that age bracket. Female, <clears throat> just because. The Robin? sight is disturbing. No. Doesn't look like. Oh. Yeah, go ahead if you want to investigate anything. Yeah, uh, Mug, because uh, Damaris was saying something about a robbery. Mug would be like, "No, a robbery wouldn't cop somebody open like this." Damaris looks like she's about to answer that and then stops. <laughs> Yes, to anyone. I think it, it, it stops them from following you. Um, we should probably. <laughs> what happened? You just found the body, and well, no, as we were up? doing our search, like they said we were doing, and I saw him hunched over. M Mary here. I know her. Well, he works at the brothel nearby. So 
don't know what she was doing out here. Oh and the camp, give me yeah. a perception check, anybody who might be somewhat, and they're looking around a little bit too, but in case you see it, uh, your perception just on a 10 would be your number. Perception. Looks like I'm Mother. better. Oh, definitely. Definitely tomorrow, but it looks like I'm better at perceiving things than I am at hiding. <laughs> Here. Very tall. Well, you notice that the, for a brief while, at least, there's a blood trail going away from the body, like where they were chasing it. I'm to give the idea of something may have been taken or that was injured. I'm just there's a blood trail, not on the body. Doesn't look like a footprint, but maybe there was something dripping. Okay, so the, the blood trail's not coming from the body, but it seems like there was something standing there that might have been bleeding. No, well, no, it bleeding. left from the body. Uh, excuse me, you couldn't. Okay, so it. it's it, the trail is like, leaving from the body, like something was taken, maybe. Okay, so like, okay, so if they took an organ, maybe. The one is going to just go look at the body and yeah, like, kind of. I, none of you have physician knowledge or anything. I'm just saying that you can see a trail of blood going away, but what Someone might want imply? to follow that trail. It, it basically the same body. path that they were chasing the vic the creature with, but it stops after a while or you don't see it, you know, but it gets yeah. pretty dirty and gringy in alleys and I myself don't have physician knowledge, but I do have a butcher's knowledge. Hmm. I have knowledge. Well, you should be able to then tell bodies. at least. What was that one? I said, as much as knowledge, you'll be able to tell if anything like oh, major he... organs missing. Yeah, he might. Uh, would you like me to investigate that or perceive it? Or... Yeah, I mean, intellect something. So, yeah, I would give you that. Use your a boon since you have a profession in it. Mm -hmm. uh, what would you like me to roll? What's that? Um, intelligence, because it would be something you would have to have knowledge of, an, at least semi. Oh, Mug's right. pretty good at this. Where's he you? knows how to butcher things. There's a liver missing. There's only one, so it's the liver. Yes. Yeah. Looks like somebody took their liver. Now, on a normal animal. Impromptu organ theft. Potentially. Now, on a normal animal, livers can be pretty nutritious. But on a human, I do not think so. I don't think they'd be, well, maybe they'd be eating organs. I don't. I would like that was to a weird fact. Look cannibal. Says the cook. But, the or market. maybe they're just going to sell it. Maybe sell it on the black market. Um, it's also quite possible it could be for a ritual, maybe. I don't know. I'm not a magic person. I don't know magics. We did she owe anybody? Alyssa's kind of looking at you guys. Well, that's obviously something. Or, you know, you just follow the blood it. trail. Well, it doesn't go as far as you would think. It's just it says something is left just to give you evidence to look elsewhere. Mm -hmm. He ran off in that direction and then the blood kind of well, yeah, it goes into filth. Only thing I can think of is that she owed somebody, so they got what they were paying or they're getting. Um, or well, someone needed order for something. Alyssa looks over it. If she owed them something, they wouldn't 
kill them, they wouldn't be able to give them something back. At least... I... I don't know of anybody I... buying body parts. Looking at the orc who had said something about it, or was it... I'm just saying it could be a possibility. I guess anything's possible nowadays. Now, what are you guys going to do? I mean, we got the evening here, investigation going on. Well, he was definitely in the area. So you want to spend another hour just kind of looking here now? I mean, we could potentially just do a little bit of a perimeter looking for anyways, checking places, seeing if there's any markings of blood or something footprints how much time are you guys going to spend in the investigation all of you some of you one more hour yeah rear mirror is not going to participate in the search of the area what are you going to do uh, he'll so go I... get some rest <laughs> going home Done. Yeah, I'm done with this shit. I'm going home. I'm getting some sleep. It's all yeah, dirty. it's about three, three thirty in the morning. So that's a possibility. I'm just letting people know that it's late at night, early morning, whichever yeah. way you look at it. Yeah, basically, we're just putting one more hour into this, and then we're, if we don't find anything, we're heading to bed. You would yeah. find no serious investigation here tonight. Um, I'll give you a chance if you roll a 1d6, whomever. Want me to do it again or you do it? I'll try this time, see how well I'm I'm having a lot of luck with you guys. Four. Four? Nope. Nope. No. Damn. You guys need one end or the other. Yeah. I guess we're going to bed because we've burned both ends at this point. Yep. Okay. Um,. Okay, for that, uh, we can take a brief intermission.